This chapter will focus on adding drill through interactivity to your performance dashboard. Prior to starting this tutorial, it is important to note that the business metrics must be defined appropriately for drill through. If you're not sure, speak to the person who created the business metric. It is highly recommended to watch the tutorial adding drill down to a performance dashboard and adding parameters to a performance dashboard or this video won't make much sense. For this tutorial, we will be using the KPIs and data sets from our Synatica 2010 sample project. Let's start by creating a new dashboard. Let's preview it so we get a sense of what this KPI shows. Before we can continue, we have to understand what kind of drill through we want to do on a business metric. In our case, we are showing yearly revenue versus expenses over time. It would be useful to drill through on a particular year so we can see a dashboard that shows profit and loss business metrics. In our case, we're going to keep it simple and drill through to a dashboard that shows the expenses breakdown and the revenue breakdown for a particular year. Now, we need to save this dashboard and create the dashboard that we will drill through to. We're not going to explain this too much as the concepts have been covered in previous tutorials. We're going to quickly apply settings to these visualizations so the dashboard is a little easier to read. However, we will skip this part as these topics are covered in subsequent tutorials as well. In short, the dashboard we created shows the revenue breakdown by product group and the expenses breakdown. In addition, we can choose which year we would like to look at. Okay, let's check this in and open the executive summary dashboard we started with. Now, to set up the drill through, we need to open up the business metrics context menu by doing the following. We then select the setup drill down menu item. This may seem a little confusing, but a drill through in Dunnet's dashboard is a specific type of drill down. This will bring up the drill down setup wizard. There are many ways you can drill down. We want to choose a second one, but I will touch on the other two. Choosing the first option will allow you to drill down to this dashboard. This is useful when you want to see a more granular level of grouping. In our case, if we wanted to, we could have had our chart drill down from a year to the month breakdown of that year. In addition, you can link to a web address by selecting the third option. Subsequent tutorials will cover these two other types. We can choose a type of mouse cursor we want to show when a dashboard viewer puts their mouse over a particular data point that can be drilled through on. For most cases, we would use hand, so let's choose that. Let's move on by clicking next. The list of available dashboards will be shown here. In our case, we want to choose the following dashboard. Let's move on by clicking next. Now, we need to pass the values associated with this drill through. In our case, it would be the x-axis values, or in layman's terms, the year of the business metric. We need to first add a parameter like so. Notice how the filter from the other dashboard shows up on the target parameter. We need to choose the appropriate input source to feed it. In our case, that's this value. This input value contains the business metrics year. Finally, let's click on finish to close the wizard. Let's preview the dashboard to see what we've accomplished. You can see how we can see the revenue and expense details for a particular year by drilling through this dashboard. This concludes our tutorial on how to drill through to another dashboard.